Hey everyone, Adam Shar here from Bavaro Media Company. Today we have a special treat for you guys. It is a vintage map of Mount Vernon, Virginia, aka George Washington's farm that was originally produced in 1801. Uh, as you can see, it's a very, very old map. We're going to dive right in and kind of explore and examine this old map. Um, right off the bat, I want to fill you in that this map, as you see it, was not done by some cartographer out there. It was done by George Washington. This was constructed by George Washington. And it tells you what kind of man he was. Uh, a very dynamic and uh, learned, educated, uh, and a very great man. And I, I just, uh, I'm blown away by uh, his imprint he has left on the formation of the United States. And it, it just blows my mind that today we're able to access these kind of documents and explore them. Uh, the man was amazing. So uh, let's look up at the top right. We can verify that this was George Washington's map, a map of General Washington's farm of Mount Vernon, Virginia, from a drawing transmitted by the general. So very cool. Very cool. And this map gets even more special. I can't even go. I've explored this already, but... You see these reference points, E, C, D, A, B. The text written right here, some of it is extremely hard to read, but this is information pertaining to the land, handwritten by George Washington. This is his handwriting right here. So uh, very, very special. So let's explore the map outright, and we'll look at the different texts in the different areas. Uh, Right here, we've got the Mansion House Farm labeled. We can see the layout of his residence right here and how close it was in proximity to the Potomac River right over here. We can see the different named creeks. Here's Little Hunting Creek right there. And we've got Dodge Creek over here. We also have subsections of different farms labeled throughout. We've got Union Farm right here to the left of Mount Vernon. To the right, we've got River Farm. To the north, we've got, I want to say, Doru Farm. We've got Muddy Hole Farm. We've got a little compass right here. So we get, here's north, south, east, over to this side, and west. So we got that. That's pretty uh, useful. Uh, basically, uh, I've looked into the map. I've seen kind of its layout. You can kind of see... Uh, the vegetation has it pertained to the area at the time. It was kind of cleared. It looks like George Washington cleared a lot of this area uh, around Mount Vernon. We can look at the acreage and kind of see how much land he cleared. 135, uh, I'm sorry, 125 acres in this swatch right here. So about, I would say that's about three of those. So about 300 acres were essentially cleared from this area around the mansion. We can see how vegetated it is right over here in terms of uh, the trees and whatnot. But we get a kind of a good picture of the acreage around uh, these different parts and what the fields had. We have a barn labeled here. This is over at Union Farm to the, I want to say this is the west. Yeah, it's about the southwestern Part, the western part, southwestern area uh, from Mount Vernon. We've got a barn. We've got clover lots. Uh, we've got, if we keep going west, we've got a mill, actually, Grist Mill, and it's at the end of Dodge Creek. You see a lot of these mills uh, at the sides of rivers because a lot of time they needed water. I, I've done archaeological studies uh, with tanneries and I mean, a big staple is a, a tannery needed water so that they could stretch uh, the, the leather hides. And, I mean, mills and rivers, I mean, they just go hand in hand. They have, they, the, nece the necessity of water is a must for a lot of these mills. doesn't matter what industry it is. You need to be by a river. So 
Uh, that makes a lot of sense that it's at the end of Dodge Creek. Uh, if we look over, over to River Farm, and this is to the east, kind of the, I'm going to say, that, yeah, the east of Mount Vernon, we've got orchards labeled right here. 84 acres. We've got a couple buildings labeled on here. We've got a barnyard and uh, clover lots as well. Common pastures. Uh, I like that there was something I found that was kind of cool. Here's a road system right here. We can see this road. We follow it all the way up. It tells us how far away from road to Alexandria, nine miles from Mount Vernon. Very cool uh, that we get that kind of perspective in there. Again, uh, different fields and we get the acreage ideas. Uh, 54 acres, 65 right there. Cloverfield lots, barn, barn and yard right there. Very cool. Meadows labeled. Low and wet ground right here. This is by the uh, Dobru Farm. I want to say it like that. Okay, so I read some of this text. I read the first one uh, from Mr. Uh, the General George Washington. And A is right over here. This is referencing this area right here. And as we saw, it was a low and wet ground very close to here. I'm going to read it to you. I'm going to try to do the best. Some of the text is kind of hard to read. But uh, within these lines, one or two, I want to say well-sized and convenient tenements might be formed. Tenements, yeah, might be formed. The greater part of the land is capable of high improvement for, I can't read that word, being something. Part of it is already reclaimed and part is still something rec re about reclaiming. And then it says something to be drained right here there are no houses on it so we're talking about there are no houses that he's talking about reclaiming the land i'm talking i'm thinking has something to do with irrigation he's talking about draining drained my guess is this is a marsh a semi marshland and that would make sense because you've got a creek right here very close to a and uh you have low and wet ground on the other side so Irrigation wise, and uh, I, I, when he talks about tenement, I, a dwelling, he's talking about possibly building dwellings on A. So, uh, very, very cool. I just wanted to give you this light preview. I mean, I could read off of these texts, and, you know, it's, some of it's hard to read because the, the, the cursive is, is unique to, to the general. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to show you some aspects of just a wonderful document historical document that we are uh, we have in our collection we just wanted to show you so uh, i hope you've enjoyed this video uh i just want to uh share with you we do videos like these all the time where we investigate old maps made by historical uh, giants i guess is the best way to put george washington we we show maps uh you know of historical lands of uh, vintage cities, of countries, old world maps. We cover a lot of vintage maps as well as history. So if you like that sort of thing, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. Comment on this video if you have any questions. Like this video. Share this video. If you like this map and you're looking to decorate a home, office, or study, we actually sell this map on our online store. I'm going to provide a link down in the description. Uh, you can click that first link in the description. It'll bring you to our online store. You can fully customize a poster print reproduction. You can even add a custom frame if you would like. Uh, if you have any questions about that, leave a comment below as well. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, subscribe to us, like this, share this, and I will see you guys soon. Okay, take care. All right, bye.